So the serve and squash is quite important, it kind of sets you up for the rally and if you serve really loose then if your opponent has got good touch and good shots then they can pretty much put the ball away straight away or they can put the ball deep into the corner so it puts you out of position to begin with and it puts you on the back foot straight away. So the serve is really important and also if the serve is really good it can put you into a position where you're in front straight away and they're on the back foot. So let's take a look at the serve on the um, serving from the forehand to their backhand. So a few questions that I always quite often get are one of them, the main one is why do I serve from my backhand to their backhand? So facing this way is from this position I'm looking at them and I can see exactly what they're doing and I can see where they're standing. I know where to aim on the side of the wall so that it's, it's harder for them to get. And it also means that from this position I can get to the tee, it's only one step and I'm moving that way anyway and then I'm at the tee after I've hit the ball, so serve and then I'm at the tee and they haven't hit the ball yet, whereas if I'm going to serve from here, I'm going to hit it, turn, step and then I'm at the tee, so that's a small advantage for me. The other advantage for me is that serving from here and I take a step out and hit the ball, I'm almost putting the ball from the tee onto the front wall to that side wall and it's, and, it's, and it's tightening up that angle so it gets the ball tight on the wall so that when it hits the side wall it doesn't pop out. So if you do serve from this way, you will notice that some people will pop out their back to see where your opponent is and serve. It gives your opponent a little bit of time to move around so that it can move as the thing ball. It's alright to serve from that side, but I just prefer every single time to serve from my back end. I just find it uh, a little bit more comfortable me being able to see my opponent. But if you're not comfortable with serving from your back end, then serve from this side and um, from your forehand. And just try not to hit the ball too hard. Just try to use the height of the front wall to get the ball up and onto the side wall, which gives you a bit more time to get to the tee. So if you are hitting the ball really hard on your forehand and you hit it at them, I've got a really good solid backhand drive or a really good solid backhand drop, then you've got to put yourself under a lot of pressure serving from that forehand and hitting it hard at them and just make sure you get that ball on the side of the wall. Right, so uh, a, a good tip, if you've got your serving is going really well and you want to improve it in, even more, then this is a really good tip. So you're serving from here and you're getting, getting a really good tight ball and you want to get it even tighter. Another good tip is to cut the ball. So when you're serving, you're going to throw the ball up and you're going to hit it at about shoulder height and you're going to bring the racket around the bottom outside of the ball. So if the ball was a clock face, you'd be hitting it at like six or seven o'clock around that area and you're going to cut that, cut that ball around so that when that ball comes up, it's going to spin, it's going to put that spin on, and it's going to pull it in and pull it tight down the wall. And I find that even top club players, me serving to them, they really struggle to get the ball back down the wall and they leave it loose. I mean, so many times I've won the rally from, from serve, them driving, ball's loose, me going short, rally's over. So if you're confident in serving, especially from that back end, Try putting it cut on the wall, practice it before you play a game. Just come down, do a few serves with a few balls, and try and practice that cut. And you'll notice that it'll, it'll hit that side ball and just pull it straight down. So give that a go. Right, so uh, we'll take a look at uh, the forehand and also uh, we'll look at where you should be hitting the ball on the side wall where your opponent stands, so it doesn't matter which side. But then this front one's basically the same, so we'll take a look at the So for this forehand side serving, we're pretty much only going to stand this way and hit the ball from our forehand to forehand. We're not going to hit it from backhand to forehand because if you're going to hit it from backhand, it's just crazy because by the time you turn and get back to the tee, your opponent is always going to have a reasonable good forehand drive and they're just going to smack it down the wall and you're going to have no one near enough time to get that ball back. So always serve it from, the, from this side, forehand, and just make sure that 
You're really trying to get that ball as tight as possible on that side wall because generally most people have a pretty good forehand drive. And if you're finding someone's coming up quite far, like they're standing right in front of that box, then you'll see like any of the professional players on the PSA, they will hit the ball at them. Just hit it really hard at them or hit it just behind them so that the ball goes behind them and then they have to go back off that tip, off that back wall and hit the ball off the back wall, which gives you a bit of time to come to the team. And then when they're hitting that ball off that back wall, you can look for that volley or that volley if they, if they cross with it. So, well, um, when, you're, when you're serving, yeah, make sure that you're looking at where they're standing. And you kind of pretty much, you want to aim for the side wall directly opposite to where they're standing. And you want to get them up as high as possible if you're serving, serving soft and if you're serving hard, keep it down a little bit. So um, get those give those serves a go and I'll give you a few demonstrations on a couple of different serves, softer and harder. And remember, bounce the ball a few times before you serve or take your time. Don't rush your serve. One of the biggest problems I see is people rushing your serve.